Power World is awesome. The game it just came out and it's already sold more than 2 million copies, which is crazy. It right now holds one of the most played games on Steam with like over 800,000 concurrent players. And it has beat other survival games like Ark, Rust, all those type of games, which is pretty mind boggling. It just goes to show that people out there really do like Pokemon, but they're kind of tired of how Game Freak has been handling those games. We've already heard of the many criticisms that Game Freak has gotten over the years since they started especially making open world games. And I know this is a different type of genre in total. It has the gaming aspect of like Pokemon. You're able to tame Mons creatures and still have that open world crafting survival. You can play co-op with your friends. You can create a character. Though the character creation is a little limited and they did announced that later down the line you'll be able to customize your character more change their appearance so i'm sure that's something they're going to be working on but nonetheless you're still able to you know mess around with your character a little bit and get a little character going and that's really cool you can name your island change all the settings you can play it casually normal harder for those hardcore players and yeah, overall, it's a lot of fun. Just giving you my quick little opinions and thoughts of the game. I played it a couple hours, nothing too crazy into my time into the game. But even just a couple hours, I'm really enjoying the game. I'm playing it on the Xbox Series X. And overall, the game is running okay. It definitely needs some more polishing. Being able to run that at a stable 60 FPS is going to be very nice. And I definitely see the potential there. And yeah, I'm super excited and happy for the dev team. And with that, of course, they are able to put more development, more money, time, effort into polishing the game, adding more content. And for the amount of content that we're getting for this early access game is pretty crazy. And overall, yeah, there is some performance issues here and there, but it's overall still running great opposed to other games that have released in early access or even uh, full launches, which is crazy. But yeah. You're able to drop in the island, get a nice little tutorial going. The tutorial just shows you some of the basics, like capturing some of the pals, being able to catch like 30 pals, just to start getting you into that rhythm, how the controls work, being able to start building your little camp, having your pals help you crafting items. So you're able to craft workbenches and you can actually have your pals help you with building the workbench so you can actually improve the time it takes for things to be crafted i like the amount of customization you have and i definitely see the potential of them adding more things down the line though i do hope we get some more ways to unlock like cooler gear i think this is one of the games that could take advantage of being able to make some crazy gear some crazy weapons because of the art style and i like that this game takes inspiration from other popular games the big three that i can definitely see that it takes inspiration from is of course pokemon that's a given the second one is arc of course with the survival aspect and the third i see a lot of inspiration from like zelda breath of the wild there's a chest right here should be one i think Yep. And look, and well, 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 look at, look at it and tell me what does it remind you of? Huh? Fortnite. Yep. Now it looks like one of the, the game is a lot of it. Looks like one of the chests the from Zelda. Yeah, it does also, but also reminds me of the gold chest from uh, Fortnite. Oh. If you guys play the game, you can definitely agree with me on that. And I really like that. It's pretty cool. Like I said, you can play this co-op you can actually give one of your friends your code for your land of course you got to make sure that your land is set to co-op so you can invite friends they can join your guild and you guys can play together do all the dungeons or oh, let me just say that the game does have dungeons as bosses which is really cool and i hope they improve upon adding more stuff like that as well but you can bring your friends in play together you guys can work together to make a nice big fortress which is really cool i already started making my little mansion i want to call it and yeah just even that is very time consuming and i love that aspect of just having to go out you know cut up some trees get some stone going and build your little furnace start getting all these materials that you need to craft gear weapons stuff for your little village so that's just really fun i really like it again the game definitely could use some more polishing but that's something that will definitely come down the line again the game is in early access i like the variety of pals that you can catch definitely a lot of inspiration for the pokemon games which i don't see as a negative 
if you love Pokemon, you can definitely appreciate some of those, you know, inspirations that they're getting from like Pokemon games. You can definitely see that. And I don't mind it. I, I know there's people on the internet saying that they're just copying and pasting their creations and trying to give the game a negative rap or review just because of that. And I think just, just a kind of a low mindset to have, they can definitely take inspiration, especially if they know that Pokemon is a popular franchise. Why not, you know, get some ideas, inspirations to make your own creations kind of look like that. I, well, I love Pokemon and I don't see a problem with it. They're definitely taking that monster taming formula and, you know, expanding on it making it, more fun and yeah just a different thing to play overall you don't really have anything like this and that's why i'm pretty sure a lot of people are enjoying the game because of that and yeah i know that they've talked about that they're probably working on adding pvp later down the line and i can definitely see this game having pvp and there's different ways that they can actually incorporate pvp in here whether they're going just player versus player throw out your pals and just have a nice little war <laughs> or they can just maybe have a mode where you can just strictly battle with your team of pals and kind of have it like Pokemon Legends Arceus type style of battling or even make it like turn-based if they wanted to. Just have a variety of modes. There's like so much potential that they can actually do with this, whether how PvP works or just adding different type of modes. So there's diff different ways that they can go about this. We'll see how they handle it. Again, the game is in early access and there's so much that they can add along the way. I can see all the cool events that they do in this world. Hopefully, you know, when it comes to like Christmas, Halloween, they can make the world and events based on the seasons and i really like that though i will say in some of the open world i definitely walked around not too far but i've walked a good distance and there are some beautiful nice areas to look at but there's a, definitely a lot of spots where there's a lot of open area there's not a lot going so hopefully later down the line they add more npcs around the world people that maybe you can talk to fight just have NPCs working on, you know, maybe the crafting their own little village or making little villages out in the open. Again, I haven't put too many hours into it, so I don't know if maybe later super down the world there's things like that, but I haven't seen that myself yet. And yeah, just going around the world, finding cool little treasure chests. And when you find these treasure chests, again, that's definitely some big inspiration, at least for me, that I see it taking from Breath of the Wild, which is cool. And yeah, overall, I'm enjoying the game. I definitely see so much potential in this, especially when they more optimize the game, steady 60 FPS for the Series X and all the content that they add later down the line. And yeah, that's just my quick little thoughts of the game. I'm really enjoying it. If you guys haven't played it, if you guys are on the fence on this genre, I highly recommend you guys playing it, especially if you have an Xbox. It's on Game Pass. You might as well just download it and play it, or you guys can pick it up on Steam. It is not on PlayStation as of yet, but I'm pretty sure maybe they'll change that down the line. That's if Xbox doesn't see the potential that this game has and just locks it and makes it a, you know, Xbox exclusive. But I don't really see that happening. Xbox usually doesn't like to do these things. They like to just put other games everywhere and have it like that. But we'll see. We'll see. Definitely check this game out. Pals is a really fun. Pal World. I definitely would recommend it. Two million copies sold already. And it's going to keep going higher. Good job, developers. You guys definitely have something special here. Something very fun. And yeah, I definitely am going to be streaming the game more often. So if you guys want to come on, hang out, ask questions, chill out, talk about the game or other things, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video, I really would appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Peace.